This last winter in Oregon was just unreasonably wet. And in April, we just decided we had to go see the sun. So we decided to plan a trip down to Moab. So one of the benefits of working in the bike business is that you can take off on a 16 hour road trip down to Moab and you can still call it work. And that's what we did in April. Made the long drive in the van, camped out and had five days of glorious riding. In wheels, there's all kinds of testing. There's lab testing and of course there's real world testing. And the thing I like about Moab is that place just breaks stuff. It is a great place to go test things. You go on a ride there, you do the whole enchilada, you will see people with broken stuff. And I've been involved in a lot of the lab testing, but I'll tell you one thing about Moab is it always focuses your mind on the impact testing because you are ripping through rocks, drops, and it's hard not to think about how are wheels tested. Well, the drum tester is a accelerated fatigue tester and uh, load each one of the wheels with 150 pounds uh, at the axle. So the, the wheels are constantly getting hit by this bump and we'll run that for, for, run a wheel on that for weeks. And the idea is accelerated fatigue. So we're trying to wear that wheel out uh, in a rapid uh, manner uh, to simulate how it's gonna wear out in the field. So with paired spokes, all the benefits that are true on road bikes are also true on mountain bikes. The nice thing is that we can set our spoke tensions a little bit higher than most people can by doing paired spokes, which means when you make a big hit on your mountain bike and compress that rim a little bit, your spoke tension doesn't go down, your wheel doesn't start to come out of true. That's a really big benefit. We do 24 hole, which is fairly standard these days in mountain bikes. With paired spokes, it does look a little bit more on the dainty side. I think people think that because they're grouped together. It looks like we're running fewer spokes. But the truth is when you look at our lab testing, look at our field testing, the thing's a bomber. We work with a lot of pro athletes, so we'll send prototypes out to them, get their feedback, get them to beat the crap out of it, ride it, race it, do whatever they want. But we also work with our factory team, which are more amateurs and mortals like ourselves. Uh, and then of course our employees are always riding prototypes throughout the year. You know, something to get a feel for it and give us the feedback. And the nice thing about having a team that has a whole bunch of riders on it is, you know, all the employees here care and they can give good feedback on the wheels.